CES 2018 is the world's largest tech show, and if you want to know what's going on as it happens, subscribe to Gadgets 360 on YouTube and hit the bell icon to be the first to know what's happening in the world of tech. Vivo is showcasing the world's first ready-to-produce in-display fingerprint scanning technology at CES 2018 in Las Vegas. The new development emerges weeks after the Chinese company announces partnership with Synaptics to bring its native in-display fingerprint scanning technology called ClearID. Separately, the first smartphone with the in-display fingerprint sensor, which could be called the Vivo X20 Plus in-display, is teased for launch on January 20. The in-display fingerprint scanning technology on the upcoming Vivo smartphone sits between the glass protection and the OLED panel. Registering our fingerprint scanner on it was as smooth as on any other device, where it required a brief initial training by placing our finger on the bottom area of the display over and over. After that, unlocking the phone was fairly simple and fast, and a lot better than what we've seen on previous other demos. Synaptics claims that its proprietary technology is as fast as the other alternative biometric methods, such as 3D facial recognition, and is highly secure too. Mainly developed for thin bezel OLED display panels with a taller than usual 18 is to 9 aspect ratio, the Synaptics Clear ID sensors are touted to be capable of recognizing fingerprints under layers up to 1.5 mm thick, including a screen protector. The Clear ID FS9500 range can work with wet, dry, and cold fingers, Synaptics said. The Vivo X20 Plus we use is running Android 7.1.1 and was powered by an octa-core Snapdragon 660 SoC paired with 4GB of RAM. Of course, all this can change along with the name by the time it's launched. Vivo has revealed that the launch would happen on January 10, though it's unclear whether the new Vivo model will be available for global markets and at what price. However, considering Vivo's present focus, the handset is expected to arrive in India soon. Thanks for watching this video. For all things mobile, check out gadget360.com.